Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of this training. In this session, we will be discussing about device types. So far, we created printer devices. When we are creating printer devices, we, we select a device type. So let's say you have a specific requirement. For example, you have a fax machine which you want to connect to a, a SAP system or you have a dot matrix printer which is a customized printer which you want to connect in SAP system which is not the standard device type what you are going to select in your uh, device when you are creating the printers which is not enough. In these cases what we can do, how we can accommodate this kind of requirement. For this we can create our own device type. We can create our own device type as well as we can copy the device type which is existing in the SAP system and we can modify it. Maybe that is the easiest way to do it. In, in case of for example label printers for example. Label printers uh, we can create our own device type because label printers mainly you will have all the customized printing there. So in that case as we can create this device type. Moreover when you create this device type you can also define kind of like uh, format of the page. In There we can define the cover pages. Let's say when, when you are printing to specific printer then you need to have a cover page or you wanted to have a print page. How does it look like? These are all can be defined in the device types. Okay. Let's have a deep, uh, let's have a look in how we can create device types. It's again depends on your uh, depends on your requirement. You can go more deeper in this in this topic how we can create device type. Moreover if you go for some specific printers which is supplied by some specific uh, SAP supported SAP certified uh, vendors where they will also give you the steps how we can create these printers and how we can customize it. In our objective is to see how we can create it in general. In case if you have such kind of requirement then you will be able to create this printers by yourself. Okay, let's go to the system. Then go to SPAD. Here so far what we have seen is only these buttons. If only the these options we have seen. So if you want to create a device type then you need to select the full administration. When you click full administration you can see quite a lot of options here. Okay, device and servers. So, so far what we have seen is device and servers. Then you have output management, the device type. Then you have character sets. We, we can do quite a lot of things here. Okay, let's go to the device type which is quite important. The device type you have actually four elements. Okay, you have the device type. Inside the device type you have something called print control. The print controls are general print control statements that can be embedded into a text on a formatting style or let's say for example in case of uh, font size for example. Okay, this, this is a format of the particular uh, command. Okay, this. Then we have format type when, when you are converting the spooled request to an output request then we selected format. We also got some error saying that this format is not supported and some kind of information we got. So that means that meaning to say that you have specific formats which can be used for this printer. Okay, That will be defined here. Then we have page format. The page format identifies the page format in the spool process type. Uh, for example, a subscript format is a page format. This is an example. So we have four different type of four different elements in this device type or three different elements. Then we will define it in the device type. So we need to create all these four. Okay. So first what we will do, we need to go one by one. First we will start with page format. We start from down. Okay. Go to display. Go to the change mode. Let's say create. Okay. Here you want to create a page format. 
So let's create a page format is that training page format. Okay, this is our page format and we can define its uh, portrait or landscape and uh, width is let's say 100 and you can specify the unit. What is the unit? It's a character, 100 character or 100 millimeter or 100 inch or centimeter or points. Okay, 100 character let's say and uh, height is maybe 300 character or 300 lines here it's not character okay 300 lines so we we have a lot of units where where you can specify yet yeah? it's all the all the possible units which you may require to do, define this one it's already here okay once you created this one then let's save this page format once you save this page format it will ask you to create a tr there you need to select the specify the package and say save then you can create one tr for example let's say bc Training under device type. Okay, this is not a device, this is a type. Okay. Okay, now the page format is saved. Now, once we create the page format, now you come back and see whether our page format is created. Yeah, here. This is our page format we just created. Let's go back. Now we need to create format types. Okay. Go to display. Here we have standard format types, quite a lot of format types. This is used in the standard ones which we are generally using. Yeah. So let's say create. And the format type which I am going to create it is that underscore tr format. Here we can specify whether it's an ABAP list or a SAP script or it's a graphics or raw data. So let's say SAP script and page format. Here we need to select the page format what we have created in the previous step. Okay. So the format type what we have created is Z underscore TR underscore page format. Okay, we use that one. So until unless you create the page format, you cannot create the format type okay first you need to create the page format in order to create the form format type that's the reason we started from bottom to up okay let's say this is portrait that's what we did in the page format then give some comment okay SAP basis training format type okay I will say save we can also save the same changes in the existing TR because this TR is still not released that means we can still add additional object additional changes now this is the one which we are going to add here to the TR I'll simply say okay then it's added to the same TR okay this is saved now let's go back if you go back and see, yeah, this is the format which we have created. Let's go back. Now we will create a print control. Say display. Create a print control. Let's say is it TRP or is it training print control? Is it TP? Okay, SAP basis training control. Always give a proper comment so that you can identify this later because once you are working in the live system, you will be keep creating different different printers or different devices. 
in that cases you need to make sure that when it is created and this should be quite useful when you are diagnosing the issues in, in specially okay here we need to define print control status whether it's a SAS script device or use older reports or used by SAP used by SAP means is uh, standard ones which is used by SAP devices and let's say from here used in SAP script device okay save it I will use the old TR save it again okay now we created format the format which used in our sorry page format now now we created page format the page format which we created in the format types and we also created the print control now we need to create the device type okay go to display and create let's say is it underscore tr device type okay the name of this one is sap basis training device type okay now we need to select the uh, driver okay the sap script handling driver sap script will be done by apap team okay who will create the sap scripts and we using this device then they can print their sap script okay then let's say this is a laser printer then we need to define we need to define the list handling actual printer handling then let's say it's a PCL black and white or uh, PCL black or color printer you can also define the alignment and we need to define the character sets how many character sets we have so let's say this is a printer HP some ISO standard okay okay now if you say okay I, I saved it in the same uh, tier once you save it now you have the print control now we can define what kind of print control we will be assigning to this this particular device type okay once you save that one only then you will get the print control all other options so add a print control the print control which we have already created if you go down this particular screen you do not have actually the scroll down button uh, there is some uh, few uh, programs still SAP in the older style uh, so in this can, type of cases you can use page down where you can go down then select the print control which we have created this is the one which we created okay, the print control assigned to this particular device and we need to define the format okay we assign the print control then what else we have is the format select the okay we will save this one yes now we create the format then this screen you don't have the format now you need to add this format you need to copy the format what we have created that means you copy the format you you create the format and that format can be used in different different printers or different different device types that's the reason you have to add that format here you select create and the format you need to select Okay, now the this is the format which we did. If you see the attributes, format here you can also define a different uh, characters of this particular format, like a first page or hover page. If you double click here, then you can define the cover page should be like this, or some text or some logos which you wanted to put in. Then you can put it in here. Okay, then once you are done, then you need to copy this action. Okay, once you copy. So once you're done you need to copy the format then it will be copied to your device or you can also create additional actions or you can also copy actions then let's say copy format now this is a format 
which we wanted to copy to our device. Okay, now the format is copied. Come back, save. Now we can see this is the format which is now copied over to this particular device type. Okay, now we go back and save this. Now this is our device type which we created. Now save. Okay, now if we go back. Okay, this is the device type which we have created. Now let's try to create a printer device. Say select create new. Here you define the output device. The output device is uh, let's say is that tr device okay is that dev now we need to select the device type what we have created we say go down you can see the device type what we have created the basis training device type this one which we have created okay then it's a standard printer then same like previously what we have seen then we can define what kind of printer is it is which is going to use this particular device okay now save it right and say it's a We will see it's a local printer. Okay. We go back and see which kind of printer is this. Let's say it's done front and computer printer, or then we can specify a post printer. Same like previously what we have seen, we can define the printers. Okay, now we'll save it. Now the printer device has been created. Like this, we can create new device, new device type. However, it will be a good idea. Let's say you have a device type which is already somehow which is usable for you, but you want to make some modification. In that cases, you can copy the device type. Okay, that will be more easier way of doing it. So to copy the device type, you need to go to utilities, go to device type. Yeah, you can see copy device type. Okay, copy device type. If you take one of the device type, let's say I want to use this Canon device type, but this is not enough. I want to copy this one. Say is that or is it underscore this printer? Then I can say copy generate device. This one, yes. In this case, it will also generate the related items let's say for this print control format types and everything it is copied from there okay we go back if we go to the device type then you can see the particular device here okay now now you can go and modify this device type okay the one which you have uh, copied then it it may be quite easy to make this modification that is one way of that's a, this actually the best way of doing it in general we will try to do it like this however if it is something very specific then if we cannot control it then we use the or if it is very specific then we will create the device type of its own okay, that's a two different way of how we can create device type a new device type which is does not exist Okay, with this we are coming to the end of the session. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next session. Bye-bye.